Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. I'm Ray. In January of this year, a US military base in eastern Kenya in Lamu was attacked by the Al-Shabaab. Uh, this base is known as Simba Kampa and on this attack, Al-Shabaab killed one US military official, uh, destroyed two planes, two helicopters, a number of US uh, military vehicles. So if you don't know who Al-Shabaab is, they are a terrorist organization. They are linked to Al-Qaeda. They have pledged their allegiance to Al-Qaeda. So once this happened, a New York Times uh, made a report quoting that one of the officials from the US Military Africa Command made a statement saying that they were in, in negotiations or talks with the Kenyan government asking them to allow the U.S. military to use Kenya as its base for drone strikes against the Al-Shabaab. So in such an agreement, according to this report, uh, the drone strikes would be used uh, to defend themselves or maybe the Kenyan troops as well once they are attacked. But then they would also use it whenever they deem it necessary. If they feel there is any suspicious activity, they would be free to you know, strike drones against the Al Shabab. So, but this activity or such an activity would require authorization from the Kenyan government. Uh, so, recently, President Uhuru Kenyatta was visiting France and he had an exclusive interview with France at 24. And they asked him about this question if actually the US has asked Kenya for permission to use Kenya as its base for, you know, drone strikes. And President Uhuru said, you know what, if there hasn't been anything like that. The U.S. hasn't at least formally asked me for permission. But even if they did, I would say no, I wouldn't accept the U.S. to use Kenya as its base, you know, for striking drones against Al-Shabaab. There are uh, reports in the U.S. press that the U.S. military is asking for authorization to conduct drone strikes inside Kenya. Uh, in order to go after terrorists. Until then, no, no, it's been no, no, done no, in no, Somalia. No. So I wanted to have your reaction. Uh, to I, 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 I wanted to be very clear. There, there, there is no such uh, a situation. Uh, the uh, authorization, and which you all know has happened also in the past, is uh, drone strikes on uh, uh, terrorist bases uh, in Somalia. We are not uh, at that level where we have, terror we have terrorist incursions. Right. but we don't have terrorist bases uh, in, in, in Kenya. So therefore, there is no such thing. I think Meaning, that is more, have you refused the U.S. It is, proposal? The U.S. hasn't even requested. Uh, they knew it would be no. They, they haven't even requested for, for, for uh, authority to launch drone strikes uh, within Kenyan territory. And you wouldn't accept it? No, 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 no. Because we don't even feel it's necessary. Kenya has suffered a number of attacks from the Al-Shabaab in the recent years because Al-Shabaab wants Kenya to withdraw their troops from Somalia. But according to President Kenyatta, he says Al-Shabaab have at least contained them. They are not a threat and I do not even think these drone strikes are necessary. But in case U.S. asks, I will definitely say no. But in addition to that, a report also came out uh, around September released by the Pentagon saying that China is increasing its military influence in Africa, that it's planning to build at least base, military bases in 12 African countries, Kenya being one of them, and Tanzania as well. So U.S. also has an eye to that. When this story first uh, came out, uh, Kenyans uh, were very salty about it. If the U.S. was going to have a lot of influence in their country, if these drones were striking from Kenya, meaning that is likely to be a war zone, if the Al-Shabaab is striking back, then the people are going to suffer. You know, the locals are the ones going to suffer these kinds of dangers. So Kenyans um, are gladly, uh, their president said, no, we won't do that. I think uh, that's great. And it's also the first time he's commenting about it. Uh, no one had said anything. Uh, the Kenyan government hadn't made any comment uh, before. So I would like you to share your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think of such, you know, US having influence, military influence in Kenya? What are they up to? You know, what's the... What's behind it? What are they up to? Uh, do they actually want to, you know, fight uh, the Al Shabab, or are they up to, you know, getting other gains? Because Lamu also is a place that is very rich in mineral resources as well. So, 
Anyways, I share your thoughts in the comment section. Uh, check out my YouTube channel, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Ray Kembawazi. Thank you so much for watching, and see you on the next story.